Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey guys, I got a real quick Detroit River Walleye report for you and a quick couple of tips. Well hey friends, we're halfway through the month of April. Most of you, at least half of you, have already been on the water by now. And you know the fishing for the last couple weeks has just been spectacular. Particularly last week. Last week was just fantastic fishing. But last Thursday and Friday that uh, heavy rain came in. We got between an inch and two inches of water here in Metro Detroit. All of that heavy rain was followed by a lot of wind. You guys, that had a pretty significant impact on the water color. In fact, fellas, that's one of the one of the tips I have for you today is if you are not paying attention to watercolor, you are missing some of the easiest patterns to follow out here jigging for walleye. The two most obvious patterns I think to look for when you're trying to find when you're trying to find a quick limit of fish out here is first of all depth of water. So try Try various depths of water throughout your day when you first get started and pay attention to where you, what depth of water you catch those fish in. If you catch all your fish in one spot between 20 and 25 feet of water, well go try your other spots where there's also 20 to 25 feet of water. That's one of the obvious patterns that you can look for out here on the river but the second pattern and i think a lot of guys still miss this but the second pattern is watercolor pay attention to watercolor there's times when the watercolor is just too clean if you can see down 10 15 feet that watercolor is just too clean the only time you want to fish watercolor that clean is in low light or after dark or before daylight. My favorite color of water is that slightly stained greener water. And I particularly like to look for the mud line and fish the mud line. Watercolor has been a great pattern to fish this year in particular. We've had a lot of color in the river this year as, as it typically goes with a predominantly western wind the US side's been a lot cleaner than the Canadian side but guys look for that watercolor pay attention to the watercolor you're in when you're catching your fish and check other spots with that same watercolor and use watercolor to establish your pattern but guys here in the middle of the month after that big rain and those heavy winds at the end of last week Fishing's still pretty good. Most experienced guys are still getting their limits. They're taking a little bit longer than they were a week ago, but most guys are still getting their limits. Guys, the next important tip I want to share with you right now, it's that part of the season where there's more guys fishing this river than there's going to be the whole rest of the year. None of us like to sit in that long line in the morning. So that means either getting at the ramp super early or waiting a little bit later till guys start to come in with their limits. But guys, the advantage to getting into the ramp super early is getting on the water and getting to fish that low light period. I don't have a lot of fishing footage for you this week because we started so early. We fished our first hour and a half today in the dark and caught half of our fish before daylight. So guys, option one to avoid the crazy traffic at the ramp is get there super early. If you get to the ramp at 5.30, you're not waiting in line. You get the boat in the water, you get a lot of your fish before it's even daylight. But guys, another option, another great option is fishing in the afternoon. Weekday afternoons, the ramps are not crowded. I drove by Wyandotte, I drove by Ecorse. Neither one of them were even half full. My buddy Mike is out right now. Mike launched 
Mike started fishing at four o'clock. He just about had his limit finished by six o'clock. So guys, right now is a great time to take advantage of that weekday afternoon bite. The ramps aren't crowded. You're not fishing on top of one another out here on the river. So guys, think outside of the box a little bit. Guys, thinking about a little bit different approach can save you a lot of headache. But hey friends, there's still plenty of time to get out here. I expect, the, I expect this bite should stay good for another few weeks. Hey fellas, I mention it every week, but don't forget we've got another channel, TJO Men's Ministries. And here before the end of the month, I'm gonna be posting some fresh new content at TJO Men's Ministries. I hope you guys will go over and check that out. Fellas, if you did not know Jesus Christ is your personal savior, I really encourage you to spend some time thinking about your spiritual condition. Do yourself a favor and do not enter eternity unprepared to stand in judgment. So fellas, please go over and check out TJL Men's Ministries. I'll leave a link right here at the end of the video. Thanks for watching Team Jesus Outdoors. Thanks for all your comments, your thumbs up. Thanks for your support. God bless Tight Lines. We'll see you guys on the river.